How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, I'm about to present the two brothers that were arrested. And their name, first name is Rashawn Nelson, and the other brother is Dante Robinson. And we're going to listen to the exclusive interview. I have not heard it at all. Because I want y'all to get my authentic reaction. So here we go. Two men arrested at a Philadelphia Starbucks one week ago today. They were there for a business meeting. When the manager called 911, they wound up leaving the store in handcuffs. The video viewed nearly 11 million times, leading to protests, anger across the nation. I spoke with Rashawn Nelson and Dante Robinson and their attorney, Stuart Cohen, earlier this morning. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for being here. It has been quite a week. It's been quite a week. Um, Dante, you both walk in, you get a table. Roshan, how long was it before you asked to use the restroom? Uh, immediately, as soon as I walked in. And uh, she stated that they were for paying customers only, and I just left it at that, at that moment. And the response was, you have to buy something. Yes. Then you go and find Dante. You're at the table. What happened next? Um, we're at the table. We sit down, we're just talking amongst each other. Um, she then comes from around the register, asks, you know, walks up to us, asks if, uh, you know, she can help us with anything. Can we start with some drinks or water or something like that? You know, for when we have bottles of water with us, so, you know, we're fine. We're just waiting for a meeting. We'll be out really quick type thing. Um, and that was it. So approximately 435, you arrive for a 445 business meeting. According to 911 accounts, a call was placed at 437, approximately two minutes after you arrived to 911. What did you think when you saw police arrive, Dante? You can't be for us. So when they do approach you, what do they say and how do you react? Well, initially, as um, soon as they approach us, they just say we have to leave. There was no question of, you know, was there a problem here between you guys and the manager? You know, what happened? When you were arrested, did they tell you what you were being arrested for? No, not at the time. We wasn't read any rights. Nothing. Just double lock, handcuffs behind our back, and escorted out and put into a squat car. Why do you both think that store manager called 911? Well, you, Robin, you're asking them to uh, have an opinion about somebody else's intent. The facts speak for themselves. There's not a single witness that says that these young men were misbehaving in any way, and you can see and hear that on the video. Well, the video has been viewed almost 11 million times, and, and part of it, Dante, you can see that you're talking to the police officer. What were you all saying to one another? I was just trying to, you know, process the situation to myself at the time. Um, because I'm thinking about my family that I have, my community. So in that moment, I'm trying to process what's going on because it didn't really hit me what was going on that it was real until I'm being double locked and my hands behind my back. Dante, did you at, at some point uh, offer to uh, call the person you were supposed to meet with? Because I, I know he, I, he's I shown on the videotape. Uh, after the first time, you know, they walk over and they say, you have to leave. I say. We have a meeting. What is the business meeting about? It's a real estate meeting. Okay. We've been working on this for months. What, what do you say to some people who say rules are rules, that Starbucks has a policy, you viol violated that policy, the police asked you repeatedly to leave and you didn't. How do you respond to people who say that? What I say is I understand that. Rules are rules, but what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And that's in any situation, whether it's race involved in anything. And, and Robin, I'm sorry, but what, it, what is that rule? Starbucks holds itself uh, open as a, uh, a place uh, for people to meet uh, and to have public conversations. Those are words from their website. The CEO, Kevin Johnson, said he has met with you. Can you 
divulge what you all discussed? We approached uh, Starbucks and suggested that we engage in, medi in, in mediation with a retired federal judge in Philadelphia. And they agreed to that proposal, and we are still involved in that process. That process requires confidentiality. What do you want to see happen here, Dante? I want to make sure that in this, situa this situation doesn't happen again. So what I want is for a young man or young men to not be traumatized by this and instead motivated, inspired. And what do you want, Rashawn? So, you know, you know, take this opportunity as, as a stepping stone, you know, to really stand up and, you know, show your greatness and that you, you are not judged by the color of your skin as our ancestors were or anyone else. You know, this is something that has been going on for years and everyone's blind to it, but they know what's going on, if you get what I mean. And, um... You know, just really taking those actions and putting them in a place and, you know, help people understand that it's not just a black people thing. This is a people thing. And that's exactly what we want to see out of this. And that's ch true change. So put action in a place and stop using your words. We appreciate you using your words here with us this morning and this discussion. And it has to be more than dialogue, as you said. It has to be action. And we appreciate your willingness to be a part of that. And Mr. Cohen Thank as well. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. And we know Starbucks has announced already that they plan to close 8,000 locations for an afternoon of racial bias training. Uh, Who assume. hasn't spent two minutes waiting yeah. in a Starbucks? Two minutes. And I think when people hear that and the fact that he called the, the business person that they were going to meet, they were going to meet at 445. They got there 10 minutes early. Yes, he asked to use the restroom. He claims that he was never told that you, uh, that you had to leave. He just said that, that he was just said that he was told you have to purchase something. But that being, that being said, um, this is this is a moment um, where there has to be change. Have they yeah. decided what kind of action they're going to take? Um, I did ask their lawyer, uh, Stuart Cohen, if they had planned on, on um, a civil suit of some sort against either Starbucks or the city. They said that's not what they're thinking about at this time, that they want to be a part of the process. Member Kevin Johnson, the CEO, mm -hmm. said that they wanted those gentlemen to be part of the process. Uh, they say they're still working that out, and they were going to allow us, GMA, to follow along and follow up with them and see how that process plays out. Fascinating and, and, story. And hopefully, you know, Michael, come mm -hmm. on. Uh, two minutes, I mean, and as you said, he said in a piece, actions, not just words. And I think that's what they're looking for, to see it really, yeah. a real change, not just with Starbucks, but I think with... It's with a societal issue. Society, this is a, this yeah. can't, you just can't label it on Starbucks. Yeah. And we'll stick with it all the way. We will. We all right, my royal family. One time in New Orleans. Let me take that down. They still did exactly what I said they did. Cooned out. You heard what the brother said. He said, this is not a color thing. All right? Okay, okay, let me calm down. So, they walk in, and within two minutes, they didn't call the cops on the brothers. Within two fucking minutes. Okay, we're going to put that to the side. We know that is utterly ridiculous. Okay, now check the play. The first time, they met the CEO with their attorney. The second time, they meet the CEO without the attorney. Now, when they are being interviewed, they are with their attorney, and the attorney is definitely afraid for them to say anything, and I was staring at both of those brothers real intently, my royal family, and they didn't speak freely. And then, doing my research, they claimed that they feared for their life when they was arrested. This is utter fuckery. I still gonna stand firm on my position they have cooned out they have totally 100 percent cooned out now if anything change i will make a apology but based on what the actions that i see this going down and based on this interview that i just heard and how controlled it was because the attorney was interjecting and stuff. He is afraid for them to say whatever they're going to say. Now, your attorney, I'm not knocking the attorney being there at all, but the attorney was willing to let them meet 
by themselves with the CEO and now they went and then they had a judge right there and everything they was discussing money too as well now I believe in getting broke off some coins but what we need to do in the royal family we need to have a list of demands to the point where it affect the royal family because they uh, they wouldn't have just put some coins in my pocket no it it wouldn't have happened like that now i know i i can't overcome the entire world but i could try to do something for the family and the only something that i could see is we own businesses or a couple of coffee shops from top to bottom we running it from top to bottom and it would be a lot of them it wouldn't just be four or five i don't know what the number would be but i would be this i tell you what i would do i would say it would have to be a hundred no 200 you overbid and then you get what you want outright but we have to have a list of demands because they gonna continue to mess up they can't help themselves it's part of their nature because that hit me the other day i said we got to start having a list of demands because they do this shit all the time just something standard across the board it wouldn't be easy they wouldn't get off with no just coins again mm -mm, no if you have love for your people but back to uh mr nelson and robinson they coons they didn't cooned out because homeboy said what he said so anyway my royal family you have got my authentic reaction so anyway my royal family render your voice with your beautiful divine words and as always my royal family i thank you for your love I thank you for your support, and with that said, Ashay.